the guy that just got drafted uh, to the San Antonio Spurs. We're going Victor Women Yama in the San Antonio Spurs. You know, this team to me is obviously going to be league pass worthy just because of him. Uh, I think that under Greg Popovich, he will definitely flourish and develop very well and nicely. Um, I know they got Vessel. Uh, they got a, a lot of other guys that I kind of like for this team, but mm -hmm. it's not good enough to obviously be a playoff team. And I don't think it, it's not a bad team that it's a mid off, even with him. You know, could we see them potentially going back to the lottery to maybe getting a guy to pair up with uh, Victor Wembanyama? Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah, I would <laughs> imagine. Sure. I'd imagine um, so. <laughs> so it's kind of one of those things where you know, do you put him in? Do you put this team in league pass worthy? Because I, I, when you I think of league to. pass worthy, you have to. I would. But do you put them in the lottery bound? It's because they're obviously going to try to get, uh, you know, some new guys in there to to help them out. That's the big question. But I think at the end of the day, you put them in lottery bound. Victor's going to be a, a unicorn in this league. I think he's going to be one of the most fun players to watch. Um, and I think that from what I saw in the in the couple games in the, in the summer league, I know that he did not have the most spectacular first game and people want to crucify him for that. But I like what I saw in, in the rest of the, pre, in the preseason games. And, you know, they have preseason coming up in the next couple of weeks too. So I I'm a big fan of what I'm seeing. Yeah, I'm with you, Bernie. I love this team. Like, just looking at their roster, I love this roster. They have so much great young talent and value mm -hmm. everywhere. You know, like, Jeremy Sochan is a dog. Great yep. player, young talent. Mm -hmm. Devin Vassell, Victor Wimbanyama. We don't even need to talk about Victor. Keldon Johnson, you know. Mm -hmm. um, Trey Jones, City Sissoko, Charles Bassey, my guy. You know, Dominic yep. Barlow, who's on a two-way. Is Dominic Barlow is a good player. At least from what I saw in Summer League, he's a good player. So, yeah, he's like, athletic. Yeah, and they got a good vet, good couple of vets in Gorgie, Doug McDermott, Chetty. Like, this is a solid, this is how you do a rebuild, you know? Like, yeah. this is a solid mm -hmm. young core. So I'm going to enjoy watching their games. Um, they're not going to win anything. They'll probably be top four pick next year. Yeah. But they'll be a lot of fun to watch these guys develop and compete. Yeah, I I totally agree. This is exactly the the lottery bound like this is the definition of a lottery bound team but they have to be in the the league pass worthy like this is i mean who's not going to be watching these games when Wemby plays it's going to be insane to see mm -hmm. um it i i feel very interesting about this team like i really think this is going to be the highs and lows team of this year like just in the sense that obviously they're going to be playing on and off nights with with Wemby so literally it's going to be up and down but I, I genuinely don't think, like, they're that bad either. You know, if they're putting out their best lineups and Wemby is 75% of where he should be right now, what we think he is, they're still going to be pretty competitive, you know? Especially, mm -hmm. like, whatever people think about Wemby Diama, whatever people think, the haters, people who love him, no matter what you think of him, he's going to be a defensive menace from the second mm -hmm. he's on the court i've been saying this for the last two years bernie you can vouch for me i told you this about mobley i told you when he was a rookie i said this guy could be defensive player of the year as a rookie i told you going into last season he could have been and i told you a couple years ago about wemby the minute this dude's in the, the game he has a chance to be literally one of the best defenders from the second he walks onto the court. And I, I still feel very strongly about that. Wembenyama is going to be an all-around presence on defense. He's going to be guarding guys in the interior, on the perimeter, every single place they ask him to go, he's going to be able to go. And it's going to take him two steps anywhere he needs to be. So yeah. defensively, they're going to be a, a problem from the minute it happens. Like teams yeah. like Portland, I... Don't get me wrong, man. I'm not trying to go down on my go back on my slander from for Scoop, <laughs> but like there, this team's gonna be super competitive with like that level of team. And I'm not that doesn't mean much. That's another lottery bound team. But even like I don't know, man. I'm floundering, but I just really like this team. And honestly, Popovich, we all know he's one of the greatest coaches, if not the greatest coach of all time. But I would argue there's no coach who does tanking better than yeah. Pop too. You know, like they're still running sets. They're still developing their guys and actually mm -hmm. progressing them forward while they tank. And that's the that's the sweet zone that this team has found that 99% of the league has never even sniffed. Like it's OKC in San Antonio. 
They're the only two organizations that can develop and tank at the same time effectively. So I I really like a lot of, like, all the young dudes you named, Brad, all of them. Jo- Jeremy Sohan is legitimately like new age Dennis Rodman. Whatever you think Jeremy Sohan is, he's probably better than what most people think he is. He's super talented. Um, but also Devin Vassell. Devin Vassell gets slept mm-hmm. on so much. He's going to be one of the best shooters in the league in a season or two. He's already pretty close. So just keep an eye out on these guys, man. I'm I'm going to be watching regularly for this team. Uh, I will just not rest. They should have gone after Reeves. That was a, a misstep for this yep. team. I agree with that one. But it helps the Lakers out. Uh, yeah, let's truly. see here. Yeah. 